Hello and welcome everybody, this is your host, Leervok, and you're just in time for more Kingdom Hearts 2. In the last episode, we completed the Pride Rock, or the Pride Lands, um, and in this episode we're going to be heading into Splash Island and getting ready to get this world knocked out of the way, the worst world in the entire game. Um... Good news about that world, it's only about 30 minutes long. Bad news, oh, you spent, you wasted 30 minutes there, so yeah. Um, shit, it's been a while since we've actually gone and done any gummy stuff, so yeah, it's gonna be kind of, kind of fun go, coming back to it. Um, I kind of wanna... Oh man, it's been a long time, I don't even remember. Which one of these is the best? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say like this one probably. I think that was the last one we worked on, and then we'll just do something like that. And so let's go ahead and start the show. We. So yeah, um, I guess after we get done with this level, this level we'll just do some, oh, let's check the treasures. So yeah, um, there's not really much I can say about this war, about this mission. Again, it's better than the world we're about to go into. <laughs> uh, and this isn't one of those cases of like, well, maybe it's been a while, maybe I'm not remembering it correctly or something. No, this is, this is, I know exactly what we're about to go into, and I know the exact reason why it's bad. And so does most anyone else who's played this game. Like, and it has nothing to do with the movie it's based on. It's just more or less what they decided to do with the world in general, because they wanted to do, I guess, do something different. And oh boy, mm. give him points for trying, I guess. But that's not nearly enough to get to get this world a pass. Not a pass, a recommendation. If 100% isn't your thing, or if you just want to not worry about doing all the worlds, yeah, don't bother going here. You won't miss it. I don't think there's any treasure chests you'll be missing. Um, yeah, I'm talking about the world we're about to enter, not the actual map here. Um, I guess that's the inherent problem with gummy with gummy missions. Like they're all kind of very similar in design, so it's kind of difficult to keep talking. Whew, excuse me. New things about them. <laughs> oh, I'm yawning already. We haven't even entered the world. Oh, that's a that's a pleasant sign, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's that's not a good sign of things to come. Just thinking of what we're about to about to do is just boring me to tears. <laughs> I'm really hyping up the 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 dreadfulness of this world of the world we're about to enter. I don't want to use I don't want to say any name. Don't want to spoil anything. Um, because even though I know like most people who are watching has probably played the game already and just want to hear just want to hear my lovely voice <laughs> that makes the girls woo. And then run out of the door when they realize the body attached to it. <laughs> oh, and uh, I'm ki I'm a kid. I'm I'm a good-looking guy. You, you got you got. I'm sure those who've seen my vlogs would probably agree. <laughs> uh, it's my collection of My Little Pony figurines that you'd be. Uh, that'll, that'll get the girl to run away. <laughs> All three figures. I guess four after Comic Con, after my first Comic Con, second Comic Con, excuse me. <laughs> I guess first real Comic Con, the first one I went to was kind of like a fan day sort of thing, I think. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that mission done. Um. Got some new blueprints, which I guess we'll check those out. Um, wow, we got a lot of blueprints. 
Auto counter, we obtained. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, formation change. That's actually pretty good. Um, I'll show for. I'll try to show a formation change because that's actually a pretty good ability to have if you like using the um, the little mini gummies. So yeah, we unlocked uh, that world. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's uh, go into this world and check out the. Uh, the blue gummy that are going to gummy ships. Um, let me look at this real quick. Yeah, this one has the best maneuverability out of them all. It's weird. Here's our new Invincible level 6. Um, high wind level 4. Yeah, there you go. Um, ooh. That. Huh. Uh, we don't have any special models. Those, those we gotta do by, uh, I think, S-ranking the missions. A certain mission, so I can't, I don't know which one's off the top of my head. Um, but anyway, we go into the sign abilities, and, yep, for 1 AP we can add, a, add formation change. Using L2 and R2 can change the formation of our mini, of our, uh, mini gummies. And it will actually uh, change where they're at. Um, real quick, is there anything I want to do to this? Um, Nah, nothing I can really think of that would do any good to this. I should just think of one thing. Um, I'll give it a bit more. Uh, well, let's hold on. Hmm. Yeah, I'll fill it out. I think uh, maybe the longer blade, longer needle will be a little. I'm thinking I might jet out a little too long. Um, that won't work. So, if we instead shrink it down to about there, oops. So, instead of it being super long, it's just kind of. So, what about. Whoa. Uh, there we go. What if we do that? It wouldn't be as long, but it would still look about what I wanted it to look. Yeah, let's go with that. Um... So if we do this, then just paint, just uh, paint them black. Or so what do we have here? Oh, we don't have any uh, any other good colors. Um, what if we did? What if we did gray? Made it look a little stand out a little bit. Like maybe we could do the same with some with certain parts. 
give it some, give it some, uh, I guess you could say color. <laughs> um, or I guess. That doesn't look bad. It's kind of hard to screw up gray and black. Um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to screw up anything with black, really, isn't it? Um, we'll just go ahead and say that. Um, and let's give this a quick test run, shall we? Um, yeah. So. We'll go ahead and do the second mission, and I'll go and show off the uh, mini, the minis. So, as a reminder for those of you who haven't kept up with the gummy stuff in some of the sites right now, uh, the second mission of every gummy mission is destroy X number of enemies. The more enemies you destroy, the higher your rank goes up, and once you get to rank S, you know we get a Moogle model ship in this case. But yeah. Um, so, by hitting R1 or, or R2 or L2, we can actually change the formation of our gummy ship. Uh, you can see in the corner, in the corner where our health is, you can see what, what formation you're in. There's, uh, one, two, there's four formations. Yes, I had to recount them because I never paid attention. Uh, my, favorite, my favorite formation is this one where they're uh, front and center, or this one where they're circling around. Because circling around, you can get you can gather the most space. Whereas if you bunch them together, you can actually deal more damage to singular targets. Um, whereas this formation helps out a lot with um, just just wiping out mobs of enemies. So yeah, you got you got you got plenty of options with this with these modes and. Definitely, it helped the uh, gummy formations help out, especially in this uh, in this in the level two match, the level two uh, bat, uh, matches. The this formation here, I believe, they follow your last move. Um, it's actually. It's actually I'm sure it could have its own uses. Like if you need to take out like rows of enemies, um, you can have them take deal the final the final bits of damage. Or if you just want to move around yourself, you can kind of have them move around in a circle or square formation or whatever. Um, then you got their base formation. And there you go. And. Uh, now there's one thing I should say. I'm not sure if we're gonna see it in this in this level or not, but uh, certain parts of areas, the gummy ships will, the little mini gummies will change to a, a different formation, and you'll get access to two to other formations where they kind of do different things than they normally would. Um, I'm not sure what triggers it, what tells them to trigger it. I'm not sure. Again, I'm, I'm not even sure if we'll find it here. Um, but they do some kind of mm, different formations. That's, just, that's basically what it is. Different exclusive formations to, to those small sections. And as far as I know, it's not often that happens. And right there, we already have an S rank. <laughs> uh, level two missions are usually the easiest to do, just simply because it's just you know kill. All of our enemies. You don't have to worry about killing the bosses so much unless you want the prizes they drop, which, I mean, so far we noticed in this level at least it wasn't that hard. <laughs> yes, we did. Got an S ring. We got our first legendary model, which I'll go, which I'll go ahead and show that off real quick. Um, oh, there you go. We missed one. Treasure. Yeah. So we'll go into the gummy menu and I'll show off the uh, I'll, I'll show off the model that we got. So we go into gummy ships and we go into special models. We got the Moogle ship right here, which you notice we can't edit. Um, it's not because these are special models, but it's because we just don't have enough block space or special items to create this ship. 
Um, right there, that little icon you see is a special icon. Um, we can actually get one of those ourselves, and what that is is basically um, it converts a teen ship slot into 100 uh, part into 100 gummy parts or 200. I'll be good. We get a space for teenies. 200, yeah. So you get basically we sacrifice a teeny gummy for an extra 200 uh, gummy slots, 200 points for our gummy ship. And that's how they're able to make the Moogle. Um, real quick, I'm gonna just go into this one and <sighs> we'll see how this one works. Um, chances are I'm probably gonna get sick and tired of it rather quickly. Um, I'm not a big fan of the gummy of these uh, special gummies. They're usually um, they're special. <laughs> Uh, they're they're not they're basically what they're not they're not overpowered or anything like that but they're like really um ooh AP limit upgrade that'll be good I might as well try for that I guess um see so yeah, right here you can kind of see it's not all that great, and since we don't have an option to pull out gummies ourselves, um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to play this. It's, it's not, I don't, I don't feel the power I need to. Oh, it's got lasers, that's why. Uh, of course, they're obsessed with the freaking lasers in this. Yeah, there's something about the lasers I'm missing. I don't know. I just, I just, I, the lasers aren't that big of a deal for me. I mean, I know they're some more powerful equipment, but it's just, uh. I guess we don't have to worry about the bosses so much in this run because we've already got all the uh, all the equipment from them. So I mean, it's not like a, it's not like this gummy bad bad. It's just kind of. It's better than the Tom uh, than the Tonberry model. And for those of you Final Fantasy nerds who never played this game, which is I imagine would probably be about two Final Fantasy nerds in the world, you're probably uh, either pissing either peeing your pants in fear or glee that there's a Tonberry model. Those of you that don't know why you'd be peeing your pants in fear, well put it this way. One of the toughest I guess you could say normal monsters in the game has an amazingly high defense and will one hit every single one of your party members one at a time. And it look, and it's not it's not like it looks threatening, it's just like this little green kinda of like a robed goblin almost. I guess you could say it's a goblin sort of thing. It kind of looks like a goblin. It's green and everything. All that. It's got this little lantern and a little knife. This dad uses this knife. It, you die if it hits you with it with its lantern or something. Like it's like some sort of like special fire move or something. You you die. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Like I, apparently, I've yet to see anyone who ever actually beat it legitimately. Though I've been told it's possible, and if you do, you get. A crap load of experience. I'm not sure if it's worth the efforts. Uh, I myself fought one in Final Fantasy X, and just oh, at that fight, I was like, nope, never again. And of course, just like the old gypsy woman, she was right. Uh, I really kind of butchered that quote, didn't I? It was just like the old gypsy woman said. That's what the quote was. So yeah, we got a few things, so that's not bad. So yeah. Um, I think now is a good time to end this episode off, so in the next episode we'll be heading to Atlantica. Uh, 
But until then, I'll see you guys later.